Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Doing nothing, remain as you are and see that knowledge has no thought. The wisdom has no thought. It is a pure state of the consciousness. And that state is not disturbed by the mind. Result, you are in meditation. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind to the right hand, your mind to the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, and inside the palms, till you see the space, know your experiences. Bring the hands down we will share our experiences to progress how are you daniel uh, i'm good thank you so today for me it was a very heavy meditation so my body was super heavy and i had the feeling if i move a bit my muscles will not react and i can fall down so I, I, I think that most of the meditation was super heavy for me and uh, it was also relaxing, surprisingly. Oh, I, I'm really relaxed now and super fresh. Very nice yeah. experience. Thank you. Very nice. Heaviness indicates that the body was totally still. So those who do not have it, they may have it or they may not have it. But everyone remained. I saw that everyone remained so still. Because of the knowledge the mind received. Practice is the diff second part. How are you, Christina, now? <laughs> Not as funky, but a better <laughs> funk. Um, <laughs> it's just my, when I say funky earlier, it was more like the depression kind of thoughts of, yes, I know yes. it's like I've known that I, I have all my knowledge up here, but I physically can't. Sometimes I, I can, but I feel, I feel, I, I could cry right now. I feel a 180 from this morning already. So I feel good, like I could good. go about you my can, day and be more productive. You can cry in joy. We will see to it. But don't cry in that. You see, you, you have understood it. Knowledge should stay there. What, wrong notions. What is wrong notion? Funky, craziness, laziness, heaviness. Mind. Mind, where are you going? Apply that knowledge. No, apply that knowledge. When you are driving, you cannot do one hour of practice, but you can apply knowledge. See that? How are you, Stephen and Sam? <clears throat> Um, I'm uh, I'm real good. Uh, I enjoyed the lesson uh, as always. Um, what it stirred for me is a um, 
my contemplate, uh, contemplation and reflection. Um, I actually started thinking about my own journey uh, where I was over a year ago uh, and where I am today. And, and all of that is through the knowledge, um, the, the recognizing, the, the thoughts, the pain, the obstacles um, all along. I mean, we, we all have it. Um, the meditation itself then led me into, um, and I think I've explained this before, um, I, I was bouncing between being behind my mind and in my heart. In uh, your heart. And, and then I kept getting drawn, as we moved on, um, as I shared with you, that Sarvesham mantra, I pretty much sing it to myself all day long. All day long. So, so today, as, as, as we kept going on, as soon as we hit the, the punam part, I was, I was just sitting in my heart the entire time, and it was just this intense, like, uh, I, I wouldn't even, the pressure that I felt of it just, I could, I could feel everything inside just vibrating. Um, and then as I was trying to come back to the mind, which I'm not sure why I was doing that, um, I just got this, this sensation of being pulled right back to my heart. Beautiful stuff. Did you notice what he is explaining? First, he said consistency. But at the same time, with consistency, with the knowledge that he received, why he received that knowledge? I'm not important. He made himself important. Now he recalled those, all the principles. So when those principles lives in your mind, that goes a long way. That goes a long way in the journey of the self-discovery. Third point, do you remember what he said? He is doing sarvesham throughout the day. Is it difficult for you? No. I have a lot of things to do. Stephen has also a lot of things to do in his day-to-day -day life. So you have to ask him, not me. How are you, Sam? <clears throat> I'm really good. Um, uh, as soon as I closed my eyes, there was definitely uh, a lightness, uh, emptiness of the mind. Um, during the service sham, I felt like I was um, traveling between some places I've been, some nature, was seeing trees, clouds, but just observing, nothing nothing to worry about or judge. Yeah, yeah um, that's good. And I feel some nice, I felt some nice, you know, fluttering in my heart, but in a similar way, every time, you know, a thought came in, he invited me for coffee, and I said, no, yeah. that's fine. I'm already there. So yes, that's, that's a beautiful. When any other thought comes, it is the knowledge that guides you to drive that thought away, not to push, not to suppress, not to kill, not to fight. Not need. Beautiful. How are you, Lara? Does Terry want to go? Yes. Oh, it's okay. You go, Terry. Okay. Um, well, I was having, last week I was having a hard time doing the really fast home. I don't know why. But I'm really glad that we went back to the Sarvisham mantra. Sarvisham. That was really helpful to me, and um, I didn't um, stop moving, but um, I felt like I had a moment where I was thinking, okay, after I do this, then I'll be in peace. After I wash the curtains, then I'll be in peace. After I get rid of the mice, then I'll be in peace. And then another mm -hmm. part of myself just all of a sudden just Yell for me, yell at me now. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Good. 
Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. Yes, you so, are okay. I yeah. know you are okay. So I have a lot of work to do on every obstacle and yes, tomorrow. I've got them all. That recognition is much better. Keep, you know, I just have to keep the other part alive until the other part just kind of goes away. Because One more. That's, that's a beautiful uh, journey you are undertaking. You see, I was giving a lesson yesterday in the evening. So I redefined. There is a cognition. Uh, Lara and Kate and all other cognition. So what is the cognition? Funky. Now recognize. Recognition means I go back to the cognition. That is recognition, right? Apply the Eastern wisdom. Come on. Obstacles, symptoms. It is not me and mine. Okay. How are you, Lara? Um, I am good. I really enjoyed revisiting that meditation um, today. So it felt almost like a bath to me. Ah, it just like good. just this very comforting feeling. Um, and then when we were doing the chanting, I had a lot of tears that were just kind of flowing through. Um, nothing in particular, just a lot of eye watering. Um, and I, like Terry, struggle with all of the nine obstacles regularly. And then I think that they go away and then one shows up again. So it's just playing with that. And what just, a beautiful, beautiful experience. How are you, Barbara? When I started the meditation, I had a really bad tickle in my throat and I thought that it would interfere with be, me being able to meditate but then I just felt so peaceful and it, it felt like my mind was completely separate from my body and I just Beautiful. when it ended I didn't know able to when it ended I didn't know that I'd be able to lift my palms to my eyes it, I just felt that I was totally separate ah that's a beautiful you see that now see understand this part if the knowledge stays in the intellect and intellect is steady with the knowledge no obstacle will prevail no obstacle will prevail and yes. you will succeed in meditation that is the message our masters give Ashley how are you <laughs> I'm perfect as always. Um, Beautiful. I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the authenticity of um, talking about the obstacles that are still at work. <laughs> and um, Terry, the, what it, I'm going to mangle what she just said about keeping them both alive, or they'll both be alive until one just goes away. So beautiful. Oh, yes. So I'm just waiting for that. I see the sign of progress. Yeah. <laughs> it comes. Consistency, your practice. How are you, John? My friend. Only... Uh, well, for, for, the, the, for the meditation, it was very, very deep and um, mostly, you know, empty. Like, I wasn't there. Just a little bit. Oh. Most just, you know not there that's really beautiful beautiful how are you kate good morning everybody sorry i was a little late i thought i would have to work but it turned out i didn't so uh, that was a beautiful meditation um i really didn't want to go back <laughs> you know, that's a deeper yes yeah, I did not. Um, I struggled a little bit with in the beginning, uh, to which I don't always when I meditate. But I was struggling. The obstacles were right there. You know what I mean? Having sat down, late eyed thoughts. You know that kind of stuff. But once um, we started the the chanting, um, 
I was able to focus the mind and then it was just a really lovely experience. Beautiful. What a good experience. How are you, Anton? Last, yes. Good morning. <clears throat> I had an immediate sense of home, like comfort. And uh, it continued throughout a gentle, a gentle pulsing, just uh, very much a warm experience. And then it, towards the end, I was struggling, but it, I felt very calm. Very calm. You have to remain calm now from onward. <laughs> 24 <laughs> by 7. 24 by 7. So that is uh, wonderful. I see that consistency pays. And, you know, simply remember. Remember, ask yourself whenever you have any form of negative feeling and wrong notion, why it is there when I practice meditation. So compare this. When I'm thirsty, what I do? I take water. I'm still thirsty, what I do? I repeat it again. Now I'm still thirsty. Take a big jug of water. Continue drinking until you are done. That what is the meaning? The essence is practice, practice, listening, learning, practice, listening, learning, practice until we succeed. Wonderful, my friends, we'll meet again <clears throat> on Saturday. That is all. Thank you very much.